The main campaign shows you some ins and outs of piloting your grinder, and there's training available as well. I highly recommend you do this, and also join the Vox Machina Discord. Everything I know I learned from this helpful community, so let me share some tips and secrets you may not know. There are four fire groups, meaning that you have four buttons on your controllers that you can map to a weapon or mod. When deciding on a loadout, simply choose your weapon and then press the button you want to map it to. Note that it's not a good idea to put all your weapons on one trigger, since this will create a ton of heat and make it hard to aim weapons that are optimized for different ranges. Weapons have infinite ammo, but you're limited by the heat gauge. Friendly fire is always on, so note the color of your crosshair. Red is the enemy, blue is a friendly, and orangish yellow is dead. Also, see these indicators around the reticle? They help you understand if your weapon has a clear path to the enemy, or if there's something blocking the way. Grinders are very floaty, so try to ride with little tugs of fuel instead of long, panicked pulls. Save about one bar for a safe landing, but all grinders have unique ways of flying. See what I mean in another video up here. You can see your speed not only by looking at the throttle, but also this round odometer near your heat gauge. Eject is located between your legs. In deathmatch, you give a point to the enemy if you eject after being hit by any enemy fire. But it cuts your respawn time down, so when you feel confident, you can try ramming an enemy with your blinking red body as you eject. Just try to fight it out as long as you can, and remember that your mech is covered in armor. Attacking will destroy the colored plates and expose the soft, gooey, dark chassis inside. If you're being attacked and want to live longer, try turning your strong side towards enemy fire and even look away if your chest is busted. This way they waste all their heat attacking the armor shielding you. Oh, and sometimes you'll lose limbs, but it's not the end of the world. As long as you have one leg, you can still fight, and you're a little lighter and easier to fly when you're missing limbs. Another survival tip is to use the walkie and communicate with your team. Be good on the comms, don't spam. Use it to help your team or ask questions. It's smart to use the cardinal directions on your radar which you can swing into view along with the score screen. Grinders marked as solid circles are human, hollow circles are AI bots. Larger grinders have a shorter radar range than smaller ones. If enemies are out of radar range, the nearest one will show up as a large white circle, or a circle with an arrow on it if it's beyond your screen. Whoa, Remember how I said grinders are floaty? Next time you're walking, try to notice the bob of your grinder as it walks. If you start flying as you're moving up from a step, it will actually save a lot of fuel on your journey, but if you start flying on a down step or while moving in a different direction, you end up using a ton more fuel just to get the same launch. If you're near a geyser on Cryptic Tundra, walk into it. It cools your weapons faster for a bit, and electric shocks on Topaz Twilight regenerates fuel faster for a short time. Beside the walkie is the ignition key, which allows you to shut down. This removes your radar signature and cools your weapons down faster as well. You can't recharge fuel while shut down, unless you have the auxiliary pump mod installed. Another cool tip is that if you're getting pelted with skyjackers in the air, shutting down will stop them from hurting you even if you're flying fast. Oh, and you can still look through your zoom scope while shut down if you want to peek outside. Want to learn all about the weapons? Click here and sub to join my growing channel.